Namo Amitabha Buddha. So some people ask why I have not seen Amitabha Buddha yet, despite I'm practicing Niam for for a few hundred times a day. So first of all, a few hundred times is really not a lot. For many Niam for practitioners, almost daily we practice like a few thousand times a day. And for some serious practitioners, they even practice from 10,000 times to 13,000 times a day. So basically, whenever they wake up, the first thing is Amitabha, 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 and throughout the entire day, no matter what they do, unless they have to do something that involves a bit of the logical mind, then they put aside this mantra, and then they pick it up after. And in the temple, our minimum homework is 2,000 times a day, so 1,000 times in the morning and 1,000 times in the afternoon. And throughout the whole day, whenever we could remember, we will just recite Amitabha, Amitabha, no matter what we do. And also, most importantly, it's not about how many times, it's about how much we believe in Amitabha Buddha. If we have deep belief, you don't even need to recite that many times a day, but you have deep belief in Amitabha Buddha and you resonate with Amitabha Buddha's energy. So it's about deep belief. And for someone who really has deep belief in Amitabha Buddha, we will not ask questions like why I haven't seen the Buddha yet, you know, why Amitabha Buddha hasn't come to receive us. So if you have deep belief in Amitabha Buddha, then you will believe in Buddha's words and you know that at the right time, Amitabha Buddha will come to receive you. And we are not attached to when that time might be and how it might happen. Totally unattached. So the reason why Amitabha Buddha doesn't show himself so often is because Amitabha Buddha doesn't want us to be attached to form. Say if someone says he sees Amitabha Buddha and then he goes out and tells everybody, you know, this could also create some kind of problem like jealousy and also this person may also have this ego, oh, I could see Amitabha Buddha, you know, I'm great and you're not as good as me. So there could also be this kind of problem as well. So it is unless we are not even attached. Even so for some people who have seen Amitabha Buddha, if they're not attached, then this is good. Actually, only when you're not attached, then that is when Amitabha Buddha will show himself to you. When you have cultivated this kind of non-attachment, no matter what you see, and that is where you might be able to see Amitabha Buddha. When you practice Niamhul diligently, also you have deep faith in Amitabha Buddha and you're not attached to when and how you might see him, and that is when you might be able to see him. But in fact, Amitabha Buddha has never left us. He has never hide himself. Amitabha Buddha's nature is the same as our own Buddha nature. All Buddha's nature is the same. And the Buddha nature is within everyone, within all beings. So when we are chanting the name of Amitabha Buddha, it's also our own Buddha nature. We are also activating our own Buddha nature, which is the same as Amitabha Buddha's Buddha nature. Amitabha Buddha is also within us. It's not just an external Buddha that's out there, but he's also within us. And whatever we see in this world, we can all think of Amitabha Buddha because the Buddha nature, the Dhammakaya, the Dhammakaya is like the Buddha nature of the Buddha. It's within all things and all beings. And it's also not away from our own Buddha nature. So just know that Amitabha Buddha has never left us. Whether we could see him or not, he is always here. So for near for practitioners, have deep faith in Amitabha Buddha. Do not doubt about Buddha's words. And also when we practice it, don't be attached to when and how we might see him. And know that he has never left us. He has always been here for us. And that is when we can resonate very well with the Buddha's energy. Namo Amitabha Buddha.